Yo, what's up? Okay, so today I heard a really cool quote by Ellie Wiesel. I think I pronounced that right. And the quote goes, God made humans because he loves stories. I'm going to repeat that profound quote again. God made humans because he loves stories. I think that's right. This experience we're living, right? What we call life and reality is most likely not a matrix soul archon satanic trap. It's probably none of that. Most likely what it is, is God playing out a bunch of stories and the underlying theme of all these stories is love. That's it. If you were an infinite creator, I keep saying this, you would do this type of stuff. The people that are complaining about how difficult life is, they're speaking from an ego perspective, a limited human being perspective. They're not speaking from the creator of the universe, the all, everything that ever has been and will be. They're not speaking from that perspective. When you look at stuff from that perspective, it starts to make more sense as to why a source would create such a challenging game because you're worthy of this challenge if you were all there is you're going to create really hard stuff for you to pass time there is no time okay but like you would create really hard stuff for you to delve into so of course you're going to create something this difficult but life is also rewarding it's not all bad it's also rewarding all right people overemphasize the bad that's happening in life and the people that do this generally speaking their life isn't even that bad (laughs) okay it's ironic that the people that have had the worst lives often are the most grateful right well they can either go one or two ways they can even become bitter or better but that's a whole nother topic but think about this whole stories thing think about how cool stories are stories are an inherent part of what it is to be human And if you lament about this reality, about how hard and difficult it is, then it'll be hypocritical for you to read stories. It'll be hypocritical for you to play video games. It'll be hypocritical for you to watch movies. Because when you read stories, play video games and watch movies, they all have the same arc. They have the arc where you have a protagonist. The protagonist goes through a really hard time, goes through hell and While the protagonist is going through hell, the protagonist is being transformed and then it gets resurrected into something beautiful. Well, that's what life is. Okay, in your life, you go through trials and tribulations, but ultimately you rise out of those tribulations and you're wiser and you're better. So how can you play video games and say, oh, why is God creating so much suffering? But in your video game, you're putting the protagonist through suffering just so you can get the reward of it finishing the level and coming out better. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't make sense. Everybody enjoys a good football game, a good soccer game where it looks like the team that you're rooting for is going to lose. And then they pull it out at the end. Look at this Argentina game. Whether you say that's real or fake, that's beside the point. But it was a really good representation of what we experience in life. You got a team you're rooting for. They almost look like they're going to lose. And then they win at the very last minute through a lot of struggle. That's part of human nature. So you can't have both sides of the fence. Either you love a good hero story or you don't. And if you love a good hero story, then you can't be mad at God for creating a game this challenging because you are the hero of your own story. You're supposed to overcome these challenges. When you're born, you're purposely traumatized. Most spiritual people go through a lot of BS and trauma when they're young. That's part of your redemption redemption arc. That's part of the story. You know what I mean? So anyway, guys, I really like the quote. Take care. Holla at your boy. I know people might disagree with this, but I really like that quote. Okay.